Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a week review video on a new product that I picked up recently. Um, I actually ordered it off the Real Techniques website, but this is the Real Techniques Miracle Diamond Sponge. And I first heard about this from my boyfriend actually. He saw a post on Reddit about this and he was like, you need to pick this up and review it on your channel. And I hadn't heard of it yet, so I went to Real Techniques and looked at their website. They have released this makeup sponge on their website. I don't know if it's in the stores yet. I haven't really noticed it in the stores. But on the website, it is $10. And this makeup sponge is supposed to be really great because it has a lot of different angles on it. So like the top part is really good for large areas of your face and like the side parts of it are supposed to be good for like blending around your nose and like if you want to do cream contouring or highlighting. And then like the point is supposed to be good for covering up blemishes. So this sponge just has a lot of different uses to it and I thought it looked really unique. On their website it says that all of their sponges like this they all look unique because they have like the swirl design. I don't know if my lights are too bright. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and take it out of the package and I'll show it compared next to their um, Miracle Complexion sponge because honestly I thought that this sponge was going to be really big but once I got it in person it doesn't look as big as what I thought it would be. Also if you've never seen like a week review video from me before like I will use this product for the first time so it's like a first impression and review in one and I usually come back with a check-in in in the middle of the day or like at the very end of the day but since this is just like a sponge I'm just going to come back for a week review later because I mean you can't really like there's no sense to come back like later in the day like there's nothing to really show because like with foundations I'll come back later to just show how long the wear time was and stuff like that so um but it just looks like this this is what it looks like out of the package I might turn my lights down a little bit because I feel like they're slightly bright um, so that's what it looks like there. It just has like the swirl design. It feels, it doesn't feel quite as dense as the Miracle Complexion sponge. Like it feels a little less dense. Um, but this are, these are the two sponges like compared to each other. Um, I don't have either one dampened yet. I feel like this is really hard for me to show both of them at the same time. Um, hopefully it's focusing in on them there. So they're around the same size this one is a little smaller you know obviously here where it comes to a point um but yeah that's the two sponges next to each other and you're supposed to get this dampened whenever you apply like foundations and stuff like that i mean you can use these sponges dry as well um but i'm gonna go ahead and dampen this sponge and then i'm gonna come back and start to blend like my foundation and concealer and everything and we're gonna see how this little thing works. I'm just going to be using my Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer today. So I'm just going to put this underneath my eyes. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom you guys in. Oops. Turn my lights up just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to use this pointy kind of side here to blend out the concealer. Okay, I do feel like that works really good. It fits really nice, like right here, as you can see, and just blends out. Because I know with just like the regular uh, Miracle Complexion sponge, sometimes I know that you're supposed to use this side to blend concealer, but a lot of times I use this side and it's just not thin enough, but this works out perfect. For the under eye area okay so now i'm just going to go ahead and use like this side and probably this this side too to blend out foundation so i'm just going to go in with my revlon color stay foundation today and i'm just going to pump some of this on the back of my hand and i'm just going to dot some on my face let me clip my hair back first and then i'm just going to go in with this side Okay, yeah, that works really good at blending a large area, like blending large areas. It's like super flat on this side, like as you can see. 
Yeah, I feel like it can blend out a large area really fast. And it's super easy to hold on to because it's like a point you can just really grab onto it. I mean, I really like this sponge so far. Like, I feel like it works really awesome. Kind of turn it on its side up here just because it's like kind of big for that area. Okay, and then let's see how this works down my nose. Because I always feel like it's super hard to blend out foundation around my nose with sponges most of the time. Okay, yeah, I feel like that worked really good around the nose just because it is angled like this. So before I set like my foundation and everything, I'm going to do some contouring with this just to see how it works with contouring. And I'm just using my Wet n Wild Dual Ended Contour Stick. And this is in the color Light Medium and I'm just using the contour shade. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this here. This stuff is pretty pigmented, so you don't need like a ton of it. I feel like this would probably work out better with more of a liquid. Well, I guess it's not working out too bad. I'm just like not very um, practiced <laughs> with blending out cream, like cream contours and highlights and stuff. I never really use cream contours and highlights, so I feel like I'm just inexperienced when it comes to these things. But I do feel like it's blended it out nice. Like if you turn it on its side like this and just kind of blend upwards or well, I guess you could kind of blend downwards but it's probably better to blend upwards with a contour Um, it blends it out pretty good so I went ahead and filled in my eyebrows because I wanted to try out how the sponge works like with blending out a brow bone highlight so I'm just going to use a little bit of my same concealer that I used on my under eye area just put a little bit of that there and then I'm just going to take the end of the sponge and just blend. See how well that works at blending this in. Okay, yeah, I feel like that worked really well because it is like so precise, the end of it. It was so easy to get in there and blend that out. So yeah, I have to say I'm so impressed by the sponge. I will see how I feel about it here a week later and if I have like any little tips and tricks with it. Um, so just to show you guys the date, if I can figure out what I did with my phone, it's right here in front of my face. So if you look at my phone, it is August the 31st. So I will see you guys here in a week and I will give you all a complete review on this Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Well, the Real Techniques Diamond. Miracle complexion sponge. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. So it has been a week. Hopefully you can see on my phone that it's September the 7th. So it's been a week since I filmed my first impression portion of the Real Techniques Miracle Diamond Sponge. And I used it again today. You can see it's like really dirty. Um, that's a one good thing about it being so light like this. It makes me want to clean it like every time I use it. So it helps me to keep this makeup sponge clean. Um, so like tomorrow whenever I'll go to use it, like I'll probably want to clean it because I don't know, it just looks, it looks so dirty after the first time that you use it. So that is one upside to having it be light like this. But I'm in love with this makeup sponge. I think it is awesome. I love the small little end here, like how it tapers down to a point like for doing under eye concealer, also blending around your nose. 
Um, and I also love the large like bottom part to it. Like it really covers a large area of your face. Like I showed you guys in the first impression, like my opinion on this has not changed since I used it for the first time. Like it is very soft. In some ways, I wish it was a slightly a little more dense. I feel like the um, the Miracle Complexion sponge is a little more dense than this. Like this is a little more soft. But I still really enjoy this and I think it just does an amazing job of blending out foundation and concealer. I love all the different angles on it. I think it looks super cute as well because it's like a diamond. Um, so yeah, I just really, really like it. I don't necessarily have any other tips or tricks with it. And I clean this makeup sponge exactly the same way that I clean my Miracle Complexion sponge. So if you're curious on how I go about cleaning these, I'll link that video down below. But yeah, I just clean it the same. I just use like a bar of Dove soap and just like work, you know, the soap in there and rinse it out. Um... I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to say about this. I don't really think that there is, but if I miss something that maybe you guys have a question about that I didn't answer in this first impression review video, please let me know down in the comments. I give this a five star rating. If you guys are not familiar with my rating system, one is terrible and five is like awesome. So yeah, I give this five stars. I definitely think it's worth a try to pick it up if you're looking for a new makeup sponge that's good for concealer and foundation. I think it's awesome. It's really affordable. So yeah. If you guys did enjoy this first re first impression week review video, please give it a thumbs up so I know to do more of these. If you have a product that you would like for me to do a, like a week review first impression on, please let me know down in the comments and I will try to pick up those new products that you guys request to see reviews on. Um, if you're new, please don't forget to subscribe and I have a makeup tutorial on this makeup, so I'll link that video down below for you guys, but Anyway, I hope that you all have an awesome day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.